everyone. I've just got a Facebook message from one of my good friends who said she's started eating more consciously as a result of following my post. So thanks heaps for watching. Uh, her question was, where am I getting my calcium from? I haven't had dairy for nearly five years now and much healthier as a result. Um, so first of all, I'll say that um, if you're worried about giving milk because giving up milk because of calcium, you don't need to worry about that because dairy actually leaches calcium from your bones. So the countries that have the highest rates of osteoporosis happen to be the biggest dairy consumers in the world. So it's not just dairy that leaches calcium from the bones, anything acidic. My diet is very, very alkaline pretty much 100% alkaline foods, all I eat is fruits and vegetables, occasionally rice, which is an alkaline for me, but 100% um, fruits and vegetables most of the time. And so I'm not having calcium leach from my bones. I also get um, plenty of vitamin D from the sun. I'm out on my bike a lot, so, and I don't wear sunscreen at all, ever, so I haven't worn sunscreen in years. So I'm getting plenty of vitamin D for absorption of my calcium. And because my diet is so clean, my uptake of nutrients is really good. I don't have um, gluten blocking my nutrient absorption. I don't have things like alcohol and caffeine that are diluting nutrients from my body. So um, I'm getting plenty of calcium and my blood chest results show that. I had them done just a couple of months ago. My calcium is in the healthy range. Um, I was craving a lot of custard apples which are high in uh, calcium for a little while there. So that might have got my calcium levels up. So yeah, I get mine from custard apples when they're in season. From figs when they're in season. I was eating a lot of figs. When, and um, Also oranges I eat in winter. Oranges are high in calcium, and what else? Pretty much, you know, all oh, leafy greens. Leafy greens. I make sure I eat my leafy greens every night, which are um, probably the highest out of all the foods I eat. However, there are other plant foods that are higher in calcium, which I choose not to eat because I just don't feel the need to. So yeah, my leafy greens, oranges, custard apples, but everything has a little, you know, a lot of the fruits I probably eat have a smaller amount of calcium. I just checked for nutrition information on my box of dates. Um, two dates gives 2% of your daily calcium needs, but I eat way more than two a day. Like I'll eat, you know, between 12 and 20 a day. So I'm probably getting, you know, a good 15% of my daily daily calcium needs just from my dates and they're not even one of the foods that are high in calcium. So if you eat fruits and vegetables, you don't really have to worry about where you're getting your nutrients from because they're the most nutrient dense foods in the world. When you live off fruits and veg vegetables, you absorb everything much better. Your body assimilates everything much better because of the enzymes have broken down the food for you and everything. So all the enzymes in the raw food. So I don't really need to eat foods that are really high in calcium. And it's so what you need to understand, it's not how much of something that is in the food that matters, it's how well your body assimilates it and how your body functions as a whole. So dairy is much higher in calcium, but because it's leaching calcium from your bones, it's actually detrimental to your calcium levels. So absolutely no need to have dairy. So if you don't wanna go extreme frugivore diet like me, um, you can go for the more higher source calcium plant-based foods if you like um, to make sure you're getting that extra. So tahini, very, very high in calcium. I try not to eat nuts and seeds. Um, I just don't like the taste, although tahini tastes pretty good. Um, and yeah, it affects my digestion a little bit. I prefer, I just feel better when I'm eating really, really clean foods that are low in fat. So, but yeah, tahini, um, when I went off the dairy, I'd have tahini and jam on toast. But yeah, if you make sure your bread's gluten-free. Um, so I was having that instead of butter on my toast. I just switched from butter to tahini. So I would have been getting plenty of calcium then when I first got off the dairy. Um, so tahini is basically just sesame seeds. So pretty much all your nuts and seeds are very high in calcium and all, all of your green vegetables, broccoli and things like that. 
obviously you're going to get it better from the raw food, so best off getting it from your lettuce and your baby spinach and things like that. So that's calcium on a plant-based diet. Thanks again for your question. If you've got any more, or if anyone else has any questions, post them in the comments below. And I'll catch you next video. Thanks for listening.